Hello and welcome to another video by the Wand Brothers. Today we'll be looking at Professor Slughorn's wand. Okay, so I got Professor Slughorn's wand um, in the new wand box. Um, to answer a question we get asked a lot. Here's the black sleeve. Um, a lot of people keep saying, are the new wands a different size because the boxes are different? No, they're exactly the same. I don't know if you were thinking like they were really small or something. The worn boxes are the same size as the old ones. Um, well, the old ones, like, they have different size boxes the length of the wand, and these, but these are the pretty much the same length, and then there's no difference between this wand and, say, I got it in Ollivander's box. They are exactly the same, detail-wise. It's just the packaging. It's just the cheaper packaging. Um, so it's Professor Slughorn and a recreation of a famous wand. You have your foam strip, which I'm not really a huge fan of. The wand itself. And then you get the name tag. My name tag has faded a lot. I don't know why. Um... But I don't know if they, I may, it may have come faded, I can't really remember, but it's, yeah, now it says Professor Horror Slug form, but like the, the O's messed out and the U is kind of faded a bit. But most of them, all my other um, name tags are fine. So here we have Slughorn's wand. Um, it's 14 inches in length and it's it's definitely, I have to say, one of my favourite wands. Um, it's really, really unique. Just if we take a look at the handle, it reminds me very much of Lucius's and Narcissus in the sense they've all decorated it. Probably just to show like a sign of wealth. But here you can see he's decorated it to fit with him because it's got a slug horn. Well, slug going ten eye, but it looks kind of like a, um, two horns. So he's clearly, you know, wants people to identify it as his wand. Um, and they've got these really nice painted, they look like eyes. I didn't think slugs had eyes, but maybe they do. Um, but those are painted really nicely. The, some of the paint job on this is brilliant. Some of it isn't but most of it is actually done really well i love the handle this chrome finish even though it's not actually metal it even feels quite metallic in a sense like when you hold it it's quite it's cold in a sense like the same way metal would be um and it has this amazing texture i, I love holding this wand it feels brilliant especially here at the end of the handle um you can see these kind of bumps and divots um that's goes around here it looks like it's been like a lathe um like you know if you get um a wooden one by from alavans it will be put in a lathe um, to make the shape and it's really nice and the paint job is really nice. Unfortunately where the slugs trail um, starts here on the shaft, I've seen this in quite a few of the, his other ones that like people have got on YouTube, um, the paint seems to always go over like they don't do the best job there on the paint job but apart from that the paint job is pretty flawless on um, this wand. Going over to the shaft, I love the shape of the shaft, I'm quite a big fan of like curved and crooked ones and this has got a really nice curve to it. Thing is, if you were holding the wand like that, it would be weird because then the sh wouldn't the spell like shoot upwards? So I always hold it like that way, so it's kind of like pointing down. Um, but when I was looking at the uh, pictures on the local collection website, I thought the shaft was black, um, and I was kind of worried that it was going to be black because I don't think black is the best because then you can tell the entire wand's been painted. Um, but it's actually just a really dark brown. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's um, it's actually a really quite nice brown um, wooden colour, and it does look quite like wood actually. Um, and I love this slug trail design on it. It's really, really cool. Um, some people say it looks like silver sharpie. I would disagree with that, really. I think it looks really cool. It, go it goes all over the place. Um, it, it, it rem it's just one of those really kind of unique ones, and I think it does add um, a lot of detail to it. If it was blank, this shaft, I don't think it, the wand would look as good, because you'd only have the slug horns, and then it would just be this brown shaft. And I think the uh, trail across it looks really nice. And it also reminds me of um, the memories. You know when he um, takes his memory out and gives it to Harry or when Dumbledore always puts it in his pensive? Um, that's one of the things I love about this wand. It's really kind of an... It's a very elegant wand. You wouldn't... I can't imagine using this in, like, a duel. Like, I would never do any sort of, like, um, violent spells with it. It's just... It's very elegant. Because it's very light and it just, like... It feels really nice on the hand. The chrome finish on the handle is great. And then also your thumb fits really nicely on... Um, the divots here, which feels so cool. Um, you can see the Warner Brothers um, logo there. It's actually not that noticeable, even though it's gold on silver, it's very thin and like the silver usually covers it up quite well. You don't notice it that much. So yeah, that's been Slughorn's wand. It, I would definitely recommend getting this wand. It's, he's not a key character, so if you were looking at getting um, him this for your first wand, I would maybe go for more like Harry, Voldemort or Snape or something. Um, just because I say if you're going to start getting a collection of wands, start with the key characters first. But it is a really nice wand, and I'm very glad I got it. Okay, so now going on to the question of this week. Well, last week, um, the question was, how old was Tom Riddle when he wrote his diary? And the answer is 16. So, um, congratulations to this week's winner.
And this week's question is, um, what were the four names of the four dragons that um, were in the Triwizard Tournament in the fourth book and the fourth movie? So yes, make sure you send this as a personal message. Don't put it on our channel. Don't put it on our comments. I know we say this every week, but every week someone does it in the comments or someone does it in the channel comments and I just don't see why. Because we say put it as a personal message and if we haven't replied, we don't usually reply to the answers. So if you're thinking they haven't replied, I'll put it as a comment. Just don't. If you've put it as a personal message, then you're still part of the competition. Don't worry. Um, so yes, what were the four names of the four dragons from the Goblet of Fire? Okay, so thanks for watching this review, guys. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.